exclude the uh, South Africans. They do so because they want to uh, create an impression that uh, 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 Africans are taking jobs from South Africans. So they are dividing our people. Because when you are here and you are told people who don't come from here are the ones who are taking your jobs, you're already going to attack them. So all we want is South Africans and African brothers and sisters to work together. So not this white bringing Africans to come and replace South Africans. No one, Af African brothers and sisters have a right to work here. They can work here, but it should not be at the expense of South Africans. We want the unity of Africa to start at the shop floor. That's what we want. We want South Africans and Africans, Zimbabweans, Lesotho, Swaziland to work together on the same floor. That's where the unity of Africa will start from. But if you deliberately exclude South Africans, now you are instigating South Africans to attack uh, 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 the foreign uh, nationals. So what we are doing now, we have just called comrades to co call more uh, the fighters to come here. And then we have called Pretoria to go as well, to go and close crime in Pretoria. Uh, because the racist attitude is the same. So everywhere where crime is found must be treated uh, with the same attitude. We, we cannot sit back as leaders in South Africa, as members of parliament, and allow these people to divide Africans. They've done it before, and they can't get away with it. What would be an acceptable ratio, Mr. Malema, of the employment of uh, foreign migrants into these restaurants that you are seeing? The former Minister of Finance, Tito Mboweni, had said that a new economy post-COVID needs to exist where these restaurants don't employ foreign nationals in the large numbers that they are doing. No, you need to strike a balance. It must not even be reduced to numbers. It must be a, a, a sufficient presence uh, on the shop floor.